Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to September's 2022 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And I want to let you know that I just sent out a September newsletter, my very first newsletter. And so any of you, I sent that out yesterday, August 26th. So if you did not receive that and you would like to receive that because it's going to include or it does include the details and a sneak preview or where you can go to see a sneak preview of my new book and I am also I've opened the gates for private readings so for all of you who want a more personal level to what's going on with you whatever that is or whatever reading you choose, the details are in the September newsletter. So if you'd like to receive that, I need your email address. So you may leave your email address in the comment section below this video, or you can email me in directly, thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And that's also all of my information is always in the description box below this video and all of my videos. So, okay, so let's quickly, Sagittarius, we have some transiting planets. And of course, today, the new moon in Virgo, four degrees, four minutes. Again, today is August 27th. So... Then we have the next full moon will be on the 10th of September, 17 degrees, Pisces, 41 minutes, which is closer to 18 degrees, Pisces. And then we also have a, to me, this is, this is an important um, Mercury. It's going to also be going retrograde on the same day as the full moon, the 10th. So Mercury's going retrograde um, and retrograde in Libra on the 10th. And then it will retrograde all the way back into Virgo and there will be a close conjunction by the last week of September with Mercury and Virgo conjunct um, Venus in Virgo. So that's another significant. And then we still have Saturn retrograde and in Aquarius, it starts out 20 degrees and on the 11th of September, it goes down one degree to 19 degrees and will remain so the rest of the month. Pluto also still retrograde in Capricorn and will stay 26 degrees all month long. Last but not, no, excuse me. The next new moon on the 25th of September, and that will be two degrees Libra, 49 minutes. And so that will also be closer to three degrees Libra. And then last but not least, the North Node in Taurus, it's still retrograde, but it is conjunct Uranus, still close conjunction to Uranus in Taurus all month long. Very big deal. Very big deal. So those of you that didn't check out my August monthlies, I mentioned, I believe it was August monthly, I mentioned, I think her name is Mindy or Mandy. Another astrologer, I left a link below where she speaks of 
among other things, uh, the North Node conjunct Uranus in Taurus. Okay. All right, so that is that. So Sagittarius, like always, if this monthly reading is not right for you, that is perfectly okay because each one of you has unique natal wheel placements and they the transiting signs, excuse me, planets are also unique to you as well at different times or different months. So you might want to check out your moon rising or north or south nodes of the moon as well. Okay, so let's get going. Sagittarius. Let's see what astrological influence is your strongest this month? Or Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Or Sagittarius. I just got some of you. Sagittarians are going to be communicating with others this month. So communication is a highlight for you. Maybe you have, because uh, communication, the planet for communication is Mercury. And Mercury, again today, new moon, actually it's not Mercury, but new moon is in Virgo. And what I was getting was, some of you might have your Mercury also in Virgo or in a trine or sextile to this new moon in Virgo. You don't have to though. So that communication, incoming or you, outgoing from you, will be around this new moon. Or maybe it's already happened because new moons start affecting us at least four days before four days after, but it can be, it's different for all of us. So you will know if that's right for you and, and I'm speaking to you or not. Okay. First house. So in general, this, this month is all about you, your first house, you, me, mine, my, uh, me, myself, mine. And that's the natural house of Aries. So you could have some Aries placements. You might have an Aries ascendant. You could have nodes, moon, or maybe you're, you're watching this and your sun sign is Aries. So that's a possibility as well. But anyway, oh, I just got to, you are going to see yourself in a new way. I was drawn to this gal, she's looking at herself in a mirror. So you are going to see yourself in a new way, in some way, shape or form this month. And whether that's internally or whether that's physically, uh, mentally, spiritually, but something new about you is exposing itself to you. Wow. And maybe it's going to come from the outside in. Somebody's going to see something new. Maybe you're changing your, your looks or you're trying on a new hairdo or you're, maybe you, for males, I just got, maybe some of you have a beard and you're shaving it or you're growing a beard where you normally have people that's not, that's something new, physically new for you. And I also just got some of you, whether you're male or female, you could be choosing to add something new to your wardrobe, wardrobe, or you are adding another color, something new, something different that people haven't seen you wear before, whether it's color or a specific piece of clothing. That's again, specific. It's not going to be for all of you. All right. But it's very positive. Whatever this 
changes for you. It's a very positive. Okay, so let's see what, oh yes, let's get Yeah, I'm getting strongly that you could have Aries significant in your chart for some of you. Or maybe your son I just got is in your first house, in your natal wheel. So you could have a Sagittarius sun and it's in your first house. Or you could have a Sagittarius ascendant and your son is Aries. Okay, let's go on. Let's see. So Sagittarius, what strongest energy is assisting you right now? What strongest energy this month, now through the end of this month for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Empowerment. Okay, I'm getting this one too. Solar plexus. Scorpio also got solar plexus, number three. So you might have something essential in Scorpio. So you might also be drawn to listen to Scorpio's reading. You don't have to. Okay, so empowerment is 26 and that breaks down into an eight. So whatever you are seeing or others are seeing or another is seeing and communicating to you about yourself this month, it is going to empower you. It is going to increase your self-worth. Yay! Good deal. That's exciting. Sagittarius. And Sagittarians, you are very verbal. That's a very verbal, verbal um, sign. So that's right down your alley expression, verbal expression, emotional expression. It depends on what, what planet placement or placement is Sagittarius for you. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's one of your strongest energies that is assisting you this month. Okay. And the other one again is solar plexus, which is all about your self-worth, how you see yourself, your power center. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's continue on. I am being drawn to get one of these cards from my soul deck. Hopefully I have my window open. Hopefully that is not disturbing this reading for anyone. I just heard a car go by, so hopefully that's not too disruptive. All right, so let's see, Sagittarius, sun, moon rising, north or south nodes of, wow, okay. Okay, I just got from this picture a tunnel. You might feel like you have been in a tunnel. You've been at the bottom of a tunnel, at the bottom of a hole. You just got sucked in. Whether this is the beginning of this month you're feeling this way or it's just in the recent past. And, and, but what I'm getting about this is this energy is ending. So this sucked in, being drawn in. And not being able to get out 
or maybe some of you have felt like you're in a hole and you haven't been able to climb out. You're trying to, you've been trying to get yourself out of this hole, this stagnation, this, this, even I just got, because when you're in a hole and you're at the bottom, like a well, the bottom of, an, of a well, you can't see much. You're looking up and you can't see much and you can't see your way clear of something. So what I'm getting is for some of you, that's what you've been stuck in, that energy, that emotion, that feeling. And, but you will be able to see your way clear and get out of whatever you haven't been able to get out of. Whether you come in, I'm getting some of you might be coming into the beginning of September this with that feeling. It's not going to last. You will find your way out. There will be a solution. You will see your way clear in some way. Again, this has might has to do, have to do with the communication that you will be receiving and even giving and sharing. And then you receive some important piece of information for yourself that gets you out of this stagnation, gets you out of this hole. And I just got financial might be financial for some of you. It doesn't have to be. It could be emotional. It could be just a mental feeling you have stuck in your head uh, and not being able to find that solution that you have been thinking hard on. You will find it. Okay. Yes, you will see your way clear. You will see a solution. I'm just getting, look at that. He's between these fish, but it's, you will be able to see something clearly this month and it will open your eyes. It will be a breath of fresh air. I just got, maybe it has to do with the Pisces because, or maybe you have Pisces dominant in your chart for some of you. And so this is going to come to you intuitively. I was just drawn to that there are three fish here. One, two, three. That also matches with three in the solar plexus. So whatever you're seeing clearly, this is going to increase your self-worth. And or 33 can be significant. So threes, 333, three, three, 33, three could definitely be a significant number that will have everything to do with you seeing something clearly, something where you couldn't see it clearly before you were in a hole. I keep getting it's a, it's a key piece of information, Sagittarius, for you to see that you didn't see and maybe it has to do with yourself personally in some way. And so you are, you will see it clearly. You will see this something new that you didn't see before about yourself as well. And it's going to get you out of this. It's going to increase your self-worth. It's going to empower you, empower you where you weren't empowered. Again, this has everything to do with yourself. And you seeing something about yourself that you did not see before. Wow. Because what was I saying at the very beginning with this first house card? That's confirmation. This is confirmation. Confirmation for you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and it's here. Okay, so now let's go and get into some tarot cards and see what else comes out for you, Sagittarius. Three is also a very creative number, so it might possibly have to do with your creativity coming out you you're seeing something about that you didn't know you had creative wise something creative about you personally some type of wow okay okay some type of creative ability artistic creative ability psychic ability 
whatever it is, I just got a book, I got something that, so poetry, maybe you write something, something that's very creative, um, you have a creative ability, writing ability, again, poetry, something about writing, song, a song I'm getting as well, and that also, again, if that is if that is right for you, if that hits hits your chord, the song, writing a song, singing a song, I got that in Scorpio's reading as well. So again, it's not going to be for all of you. Okay, so let me see now. The world, 21, is drawn to number 21 is the world card. It could have something to do with the date the 21st, around that date of, for September, or for some of you, it could be, maybe that's your birthday, the 21st. Oh, 21st also breaks down into a three. And I was saying three, three, three. So the uh, number three could be significant for you. Again, that could be a, maybe that's your birthday. Maybe it's September three. And we'll round that date again. Take that if that means something to you. Absolutely. And I'm getting the third month too. I don't know if that maybe is your month. Oh, wow. Pisces. So some of you might have your son in Pisces because that is three. That's the third month of the year, which is Pisces month. It's also... Aries month after about the 21st, 22nd, some, it's, it differs. Okay. So, wow. All right. Again, I'm getting something's opening up for you. She's open. She is naked. She, there is something is opening up for you whether it's you personally are opening up and showing yourself, showing who you truly are. You're not hiding anything anymore. You're just open and there and, and being and expressing yourself. Or again, something is being shown to you, physically being shown to you, whether you're seeing it with your eyes, your intuition through another, what they're communicating to you, it's, again, going to be different for all of you. Oh, I just also got two. Some of you are showcasing yourself this month. You are being showcased. So you are being seen out in the world. You are being seen. Maybe you have a channel. Maybe you have something that, that you're presenting. Maybe you're presenting a new creative talent of yours and you are going to you're being showcased you're being seen you're being communicating others are communicating this to you about this whatever you are personally showcasing whether it's work creative ability whatever it is Taurus is showing up too with this world card. So I don't know if you have a Taurus placement or again, if you have Scorpio that opposes Taurus. Okay. Aquarius is also showing up. Leo. Some of you, you're on stage this month, whether it's literally or again, you're just being showcased. You personally, <clears throat> excuse me, or what you see personally about yourself. Okay, let me move on because we have 
I'm getting a lot with the world card. If I have time, I will keep doing that. But let's, it's about your personal uh, uh, physical appearance that you have, you have transformed yourself. You have done something new, like I spoke about earlier. And it's, so people are noticing that and they're liking that. That's just a confirmation for those of you that that pertains to. Okay, so King of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands. I was noticing he's looking at the world. So some of you, you're being noticed, whether you're male or female. And this could be a, a fire sign that's noticing you. You're Sagittarius. You are a fire sign. So maybe you are also noticing someone else. Or you are noticing yourself. You are noticing your... Okay. I just got... You are noticing others noticing you out in the world. And the change you have made to yourself. That's what I see strongly. Wow. And that puts you, again in the King of Wands energy, which is very, very secure. It empowers you. There you go. You're sitting in that King of Wands energy, whether you're male or female, very much empowered with who you are, how you are being shown, what you're showing into the world, and how you are being seen in the world is very much uh, self-confident, self-confidence, self high self-worth. That's what others are seeing also with you when you are out in the world, which again, it just completes that empowerment, self-empowerment, gives you more self-worth, and so it's just a, it's a circle. It's just you are imbuing out into the world self-confidence, poise, and class, class, dignity. And therefore, they are, they are, you are also receiving that back. So it's just a, it's a beautiful exchange of an energy that keeps going and it's just circulating it never ending especially this month and i'm getting that energy that i just spoke of that's because that ends this cycle of whatever you worked hard to put to death with yourself. It's something you ended, a cycle you've ended just recently. It's now coming back and you're seeing the fruits of your labors with this new beginning of you sitting. You are sitting on your throne and others are noticing you. This positive trans transformation that you have made within yourself that you didn't realize. I'm also getting for some of you that didn't realize how and that it's transformed you in a very personal way. And it's being seen out when you go out into public or having to do with your work, uh, whatever service you are sharing with others your specialty, your creative talents. It's being seen. You are being showcased now. That, because this old cycle has ended and now it's signifying a new beginning for you is where I'm seeing. Yes, sun. New beginning, bright, shining. New beginning for you and your life. It's a punk, it's a exclamation point is what I'm getting. Signifying for you. The end, it has ended. Something has ended for you and a new be beginning has begun. And you will know. Because of all this chit chat about, 
about you, to you, uh, you are, again, you're being showcased in some way. You are showcasing yourself in some way and you will see how it positively affects others. This month, the sun, how you have blossomed and bloomed into a full, I was being drawn to the sunflowers there. And again, okay, this, this child is, is naked, just like the, I was saying with, with the world card, she's naked. She is just being herself. She's, you are transformed and you're not hiding anything. You are just automatically sharing you, your talent, you, something personal about you is being exposed, something new that you haven't shared, that you didn't know was, was even, uh, that you were sharing for some of you. And again, for others of you, it's something new that you have done to your personal self, which is increasing, it's empowering you. It's increasing your self-worth and you're being shown that by others communicating this to you. And again, I've been, um, the word creative, for some of you, it is your creative, something new, a new creation of yours, again, yourself, in a new form, transformed, your ability that you didn't know you had, a creative ability, transformed, or brand new, because of this transformation you've gone through and you're being applauded. You're being applauded for it. Sagittarius, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining bright on you this month. Also very stabilizing uh, red your root chakra, very secure for you financially. If that pertains to security where you weren't, didn't have that financial security, it's coming. But some type of, it's very physically stabilizing you on a very foundational root level for yourself at the very least. Whatever that means for you, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But that is beautiful. Beautiful. Expect it this month, Sagittarius. Expect it because it's coming. All right. Well, again, if you want a copy of my monthly September newsletter, uh, send me your email either in the comments below or send me an email to me personally with your and that will give me your email address and I will absolutely send you that very informative news of the new goings on with the creative woman channel here all right until next time I have a wonderful prosperous abundant and enjoy your exposure and all the accolades you are getting all the communication about whatever you have transformed within yourself this month okay until next time